Course goes. 20 years old, North Brunswick, New Jersey. Third in MCS points, Skimbo. 26 from Claremore, Oklahoma. And he came in as the number one player overall. But these two top three players, they got to get something going here. What are we looking at for playbooks? Well, I'll give you I'll give you one <laughs> guess what they're both running on offense. Yeah, they're in the West Coast. What's the D looking both like? in the West Coast offense, yep. And Skimbo is running the New England Patriots defense. Ghost in that Kansas City Chiefs defense. <laughs> Two very popular defensive playbooks in this ultimate league. And Skimbo loves that 3-3-5 odd that you can only find in the New England playbook. Of course, a three-man front for Ghost in his defensive playbook as well as Jamal Charles moves ahead. You know, interesting thing about Skimbo, you could pick 70 players. You could only put 34 out there on the roster, but he only chose about 51 guys. So he was like, ah, these are the only guys I need. I don't need to go the full 70. Maybe you need a running back at some point. <laughs> but he didn't even put a backup running no. back on his roster. That base goal, Jamal Charles, is the only running back that he brought to the party. And he must be confident with him. Seen him run with him in the club championship. Goes one and two, Skimbo one and two. Of course, these guys both in the elite conference. Different divisions, but remember, division record is not as big as overall conference record for getting you into the playoffs. Oh, Six no. of the eight will make it. Here's a quick fourth and four. Throws it to the side and hauled in at the 37. And that'll move the chains for Skimbo. Skim fortunate that Tyreek Hill able to hold on to that. We've seen him drop some passes, even on those possession catches when there's defenders nearby. We yep. talk about the crews a lot real quick, Scott, okay. EMB and all of that stuff. One of the big benefits of a crew is Ghost being in the same EMB crew as Stevie J. Stevie J playing Skimbo earlier in the season, locking up Skimbo's gun bunch completely. And guess who Ghost was talking with in the back <laughs> before this game? It's Stevie J frying him in, the different things he did to confuse Skimbo, the things that might have worked very well. And having a resource like that near you at these events that you can go to to rely on for that type of information is a huge deal. Jamal Charles spins down to the 22 after breaking the tackle. And of course, Stevie J, that's also in his best interest for Michael Skimbo to take another L. Yeah, both of them in that same, same division. Wentz. Oh, it's back foot. Oh Lucky. That just Ooh. fell at the feet. That was bad. I believe that was Ed Reed. Lurking around. Hassan Spall. And I like the origin of Ghost's nickname. Where did the Ghost nickname come from? Oh, Skip misses A. <laughs> open. Missed the wide open Ghost. <laughs> Laughing about oh, it, Skim knows. Skim knows. That was dirty. <laughs> oh man, that would have been sick. That's but sick the too. origin, real quick, Ghost stands for Gaming of Spall. Gaming uh, of Spall. His Ghost. last name Spall. Ah, simple, thought it was cool. easy, and it fits on a scoreboard. I always wondered where the ghost came from. Well, I'm glad he gave you that clarity. Third and seven. At the 18. Let's see what gaming the spall has here on this big third down. Pick that! And oh, hauled in God. for the touchdown. Skimbo hoodie Where skim gets going? up Where animated. Where are you going? He's talking about that user defender that sort of bailed out on the play, <laughs> leaving the middle open to find Hester for the score. Took two minutes and 30 seconds. Skimbo's on the board, 7-0. stop on this boy, man. Nine plays, 57 yards. stop on this boy, man. They're talking at each other, and it's cool. The, the competition's fierce. There's a lot on the line. But they're both still having fun up there. And that's an important thing at the end of the day. You, you, you come here, you, you try to compete. But if you're competing and not having fun while you're doing it, you're doing it wrong. Woo! These guys have won some cash this year. 38,000 for Goes and Skimbo comes in at 35,000. Of course, both these guys are going to add a lot more to that total here in the league. Yeah, after this ultimate league. Look at Hoodie Skim. He's hoodied up. He's got the beard. 
We're usually not used to seeing bearded skim either. Looks like he's been deep in the woods playing some Madden football, like off an old car battery, like a portable eight inch TV, black and white. <laughs> well, he said he caught that big flu a few weeks ago. He's been grizzly ever since. First and 10. Oh. Yeah, there's Herschel Lockhart. Gains a, a yard, second and nine. Do it again. I, I know you can do it again. You scared so the ball animated. Off, Look at him. He's talking right in between every play. He's in Ghost's ear. And this could be Skimbo in desperation mode. Like you said, not trying to fall the one and three. He knows this is a big game. He felt yeah. like that last win maybe woke him up. And there's Herschel Walker. I know. And hanging on for dear life at the 44. First down goes. That's Malcolm Butler. Good to see him get some playing time. It's about time. <laughs> Mariota. Too soon. And finds Jackson for first down at the 40. Let's go for a game break. Well, guys, young Kiv getting things going early in the first quarter. A deep 30-yard pass right there. Rico setting up score time. Dot! <laughs> We're all screaming dot over here as he supermans into the end zone. Seven nothing, minute and a half left in the first. Oh, yeah. Joel CP and Kiv are also playing. If you needed more reason to hang around. How about that? Matchup. Seeing, you see Kiv getting a touchdown with that halfback draw out of gun bunch. We saw a big run from go sir earlier on this drive from I mean if you're going up against this West Coast playbook you need to be prepared for that halfback draw out of this gun bunch formation it's the only running play you have to look out for Mariota can't get loose and we got to wait till the final game of the year to see Skimbo and Kiv again I wonder what's going to be on the line there <laughs> Second and 15. Imagine if that's like the game for the bye or yep. get in the playoffs. It could happen. Deshaun. Bye. Jackson get loose. <laughs> Go starting to get animated over there against Mike Skim. But he's Skim focused. Skimbo always has this look on his face like, like every play of the game is the biggest play of his life. That, that's a gauntlet champion version. Do your solos, kids. Got 94 speed, 93 overall. Got some soft hands as well. Gauntlet Third and two. Means you have to play solo. You got to get your solos in, kids. <laughs> uh, Mariota and throws a pick. Oh, that's Brown. Linebacker to spy. Linebacker to spy. Learn that. Linebacker to spy. Learn that. That ain't a D lineman. That's a linebacker. You got to count for the spy. Go get Seth. Come on. Damn. Damn. Skim is amped. He's not used to be in these situations. A little extra juice. Normally doesn't get in his feels, doesn't get in the emotions. Like Skim, I mean, he, he starts off and enters the season on a two game losing streak, and now he means business. Goes was saying that, hey, I was trying to throw a high ball over top of your spy. And Brown just reached up and pulled it out of the sky. It's seven nothing, Skimbo with the lead. Young Kiv also with the touchdown lead over Joel CP at the end of the first quarter. Well, let's start the second quarter with Joel CP and Young Kiv. Kiv coming off a interception here. Got another possession to start the second quarter, seeing if he can maybe go up by two possessions. Kiv, you can't keep him down for long. He's coming off a rough game against Stevie J. So a big third and 12. Wentz rolling out, finds Warfield. And Warfield turns it up to the 30, and he's going to go tempo here, RG. Good playmaker by Kiv. Use that playmaker. You just flick the right stick in the direction you want the receiver to go in. 
the closest receiver will redirect his route in that direction. Good use of the mechanic right there by the Kevin. A big fourth down, Scott. Yeah, he's not going to go for the field goal. He's going to go for it. Wentz stands tall in the pocket and finds Warfield for the first down. Oh, the Kevin. That's a big first down on fourth and two. You can kick the field goal, go up two possessions, ice in his veins. Good play by the Kevin. So now Bunch to the right. No, he's going to flip it here on first and 10 at the 15. The draw. Hands it off to Langford. And he won't go anywhere. He's going to make it a second and 10. He's got a touchdown on his mind here. Go Kev with Langford. We haven't seen him at all in the Ultimate League. A unique personnel choice right there by young Kev. You don't go for it on fourth and two unless you're going to try to finish off the drive with a score. Throws it to the corner, and Hester gets flipped. That's risky play right there. If you're Kev, you're already in field goal range. You can make this two possessions. you got to be careful with how freely you throw this rock right now. The touchdown's cool, but points are more important. Third and ten. Wentz, and there's Langford all alone. Touchdown, Kev. Oh, that's a hot one by young Kev. The wheel route sneaks out the backfield. Langford, we were just talking to him. I believe he's the only one with that. Running back on his team and finds him for the possession catch off of the wheel for a big touchdown. Joel's demoralized. So 14 to nothing, and Joel CP is going to have to answer. And oh, there look goes at, look Amos. At Amos has got wheels, and they won't catch him. Joel CP once again taking a kick off to the house. Look at Joel's body language. We're not used to seeing that from Joel. Usually so animated. Takes the kickback, doesn't even blink. Full locked in against the Kiva. Nowadays they just say, um, I'm going to take your Xbox power cord. Okay, I'm cool. Like, I'll be good. Yeah, no. I'll be good. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't get drastic, <laughs> Mom and Dad. Oh, well, when Mom used to threaten <laughs> that she should return the game, oh, it's, it's, oh, mine real quick. So the big kick return makes it a one-score game. Joel CP only has two yards of offense, and the lead's only seven. Joel needs to find a way to get some momentum, especially up against young Kiv. Coming off of the first loss of the season, Kiv, one of the most consistent players there's been over the last several years. You know, I think sometimes that animation should trigger a chance for a fumble because when you that hit, hit from the field. back. Yeah. So that would make guys think twice about standing in there. Going deep, Tyreek! And young Keva! <laughs> 14. Yeah, that's why Joel knew not to celebrate. He didn't have much faith in his defense to stop the high power giver offense. Watch both these guys part of top Madden. That's just the core elite Tyree Kill. That's fresh out the box. That's like August 28th. You got the game, you pop a pack at core Tyree Kill. Well, he had speed, though. Well, that's the thing in, in much salary cap. If you're playing Mud Unlimited, those core elites, you know, they're, they're out of style. You, you don't want to do business with them. But you get here in salary cap, and if he can do things like that, you're with it. I don't know, though. He has a red star around him. There's no way that could be the, the, the normal elite, though, Scott. That's what they're telling me. No, what we saw. I just go off the print. There's no way. That, that has to be the pro ball. He wouldn't have the I red star. I just go off the print. But the red. Yeah, this has got to be this. When it says core elite on our roster, that's actually Pro Bowl. Yes. That's actually the Pro Bowl version, 95 overall. I take it all back. It's FC motive. Mistakes were made. Second and 15. Not like this. Got me over here paying homage to more <laughs> elites. Let's get a game update. <laughs> Well, guys, if Joel is not going to be capping in your game, Mike Skimbo is going to pick up the slack. He throws a deep touchdown pass, going way up with the ag catch. Over two guys diving all over the place. He is up 14-0, approaching the two-minute warning. 
Guys, the champ is fired up over here. Uh, I know for a fact, Dave, that's the Madden Blitz version of Tyreek Hill. That we do know. What a motivated Mike Stim. Talk about the right attitude to have. Start the season, things aren't going your way. It's looking gloomy. And you start back up and hit he the young hip -hop. Jabril Peppers out of Michigan. Making the play. Gotta be worried for Joel CP. And I totally buy this out of position Peppers because when he was in college at Michigan, he could do it all. Offense, defense, safety, linebacker. Makes a big play there. Those safeties that get the out of position linebacker cards are some of my favorite ones. Like you said, you see Ed it. Reed. The, the Patrick Chung, he's got an out of position, yep. which, you know, he played Landon Collins. He's a guy you'll always see in the box. So 14 nothing between Goes and Skimbo. Let's take a peek in over there. It's, it's under two minutes to go in the half. Goes on a drive. Good job picking up the blitz. Got to throw it. Ah! And finds Tyreek Hill. If you've learned anything from the last five minutes of gameplay, get you a Tyreek Hill. He's everywhere. Tyreek Hill is getting busy. And look at Ghost. Gives a head nod to Skim. Threw that pass under all kinds of pressure. Nothing left open at the last second. That deep crossing route. Gets on the board for six. Hoodie Skim not feeling it. It's the Pro Bowl version of Tyreek Hill. Cost you 67 cap. That's just eight off of Randy Moss. It tells you how important that Tyreek Hill is. Well, he's, you get, as you like to say, double dip the chip with him because you get them both on offense and on special teams, which is a big deal. Look at Skim. There's a Renfro, the former legend. Look at this, Scott. Pressure coming. Aga! Just slings it right over top. Look at the emotion of young Hassan Spall. Cost you 67 cap because you get 96 speed with 90 catch. So not only is he a burner, but he can also haul it in as he did there. It's just a touchdown lead for Skimbo. Got the ball. Hands it off to Jamal Charles. With power ahead for four. Second and six, and here comes some tempo. Has three timeouts. Must have saw something here. Yeah, I think he saw that. Close was in a coverage type defense off of that draw. Oh, and what a catch Ooh, by Ocho Chad Cinco. Johnson. Chad Johnson. Oh my God. Chad oh, Johnson. Good job, baby. But that's a that's a I mean that's a quarter flat that jumped that. Huge Madden fan, like, huge what? FIFA fan. Hauls it still. in at the 42, and these guys are starting to jaw at each other. The funny thing is they're going Wild. back and forth talking to each other, but they got white noise and game sound and music all playing underneath those headsets. I don't know how much they can even hear. Oh, Ghost Two is picks. visibly frustrated. I'm blind. Two picks. I'm blind. Two picks. You learn to lead, you know, read the lips. Good D. Great defense, second and 10. Oh no. This is, not, this is early season shenanigans. We talked about the time, uh, you know, off camera. How many times goes sometimes he can get caught with his safeties in those hook zones. And that's when you can use Tyreek Hill to go up top. And he's got two burners. You talk about Tyreek Hill and Devin Hester. Woo! And he got Chad Johnson in the mix. Yeah, well. underneath, Wonderful. big tall target. Took that Grant, Keen Grant, went to the, straight to the bench. And there's some movement up front. Delaney Walkers is tied in. And you're like, man, well, how can he afford all that? Well, it's because he's got Jamal Charles as his halfback. Yeah, it completely tanks the halfback position. He's got him open. Still throws the corner route. Go Had a first down. Let's go for a game update. Guys, Young Kiv is absolutely all over Joel CP right now. Going up 28-7. That look on Joel's face pretty much says it all. Appreciate it, gentlemen. On that last play, he had Jamal Charles on a table route. Big fourth down, Scott. Goes with the delay. That's all kind of trust. Wild, I'm a wild man. I'm going to let him hang, baby. You're getting lucky. I'm going to let him, yeah. I'm lucky. a grown man. I'm a grown man doing grown man things. 
<laughs> You're getting so lucky. I mean, with that bear he grew, he really does. It's grown sure. damn skim. You know, 26, because it was a long time ago for me. But in Madden years, 26, you might as well be 70. Like he says, he chooses to play Madden full time, but he's got his business management degree. Skip wants to get his grown man on. He can get his grown man on. That's two timeouts. Clock's on the move. Let's keep an eye on that. Going to have to burn one here. 15 seconds to go, one timeout. A field goal would make it a 10-point game. He wants seven here, though. He's on full savage. It's going to be, I feel like this is going to be another draw. I hope he's passing. Oh. Corner strike. Motion that B receiver try to throw that corner route. Nope. To the Is it to Laney? Should have got out of bounds, RG. Okay. And he's going to have to burn that timeout. And now you're in a, a situation. Can't take a sack. You need to step out of bounds with Delaney there. Yeah, Save yeah. you a timeout, maybe 11, 12 seconds. Gave you a chance to run the ball if you wanted, then you call the timeout. Or if you get a sack. He's going to go for this. He's in goal line. Goal line formation. What's up with that? I don't think you want to hike this skin. He, he might have to take this delay a game, yeah. He's going to try to take a false start. Or take it all the way down to double run. zeros. Second, is there? Kick the field goal. He's thinking. Look at that in the bottom right. He doesn't want to do this. Worried about a 10-second runoff. Not like this. You're getting so lucky this game. I thought it was a runoff. See, he said, no, he, said he thought lucky. he was going to get a 10-second runoff for, for the penalty. You getting lucky? Yeah, I am. Skimbo? Don't block my kick. I Be am. a gentleman. No. Trying to talk him in and not kick. blocking yeah. this kick. That's an old Madden move there. Huh? Fake it. You're faking. You want me to fake it? Yeah. All right, here. Look, I'm audible into a fake. Do it. I faked it. Imagine if he really does fake this, Scott. <laughs> it's third down. He might do it. I'm telling going you. Fake. He is he doing it. Fake. He goes scum. Throws it in the back Wait. of the end zone and overthrows Nothing. Delaney. He told us last night if he gets the ball oh, on the oh, God. third down. <laughs> and and that's, like, what he, that's what cost him the game against Kev. He looks at Ghost and says, I'm a wild guy. <laughs> Skim swag rate is just up right now. He's from northeast Oklahoma. I just outside of Tulsa. I'm losing. It's wild up there, man. A coach Skim. What? He said if I get a two chance, kids? shout out his yeah, Ulaga yeah, baseball team so? out in Oklahoma. Coaches part time with uh, out there on the lake. A good one. Come on, game. You Get know back. the fake wasn't. It's a decent play call with on third down. Because you know you're not going to get sacked, right? You know you're going to get an opportunity to throw it away. And that's how this one. <laughs> Woo! That's the end of the half. 17-7 between Skimbo and Goes and Young Kill. Oh my. 28 to seven. Well, I'm still intrigued here at the start of the third and they're still talking, RG. Goes won a belt up in Minnesota, winning the club championship. Skimbo's got two to his name, including the overall Madden 17 champion. Uh, I'm looking off to the side there, Cole, and our admin, Justin Charles, trying to wave to Ghost and Skimbo. Track. Guys, guys, pay attention. Cut the conversation now. We need to start the second half. They're, they're too busy going Hell back and forth fight, up baby. there. We're fighting this shit, Skim. They're used to the old Skimbo, days. We used to, like, put on a full-time halftime show. We hired a, a local band. They came out marching band. Now we just hold the A button. We used to do fireworks and pyrotechnics. And now we just, yeah, you're right. Hold down the A and let's, let's keep moving on through. I like it. I, I always think these broadcasts are at the best when we just in game, Rock in the roll. action, letting That's the players do their thing. They're the stars of the show. They're who we want to see. Come on, get a sack right here. Absolutely. 
It is a second and 11. Opening drive here for Goes, trying to get back in this one. After Skimbo hit the late field goal to end the half. That's something that you guys at home can add to your arsenal. Hey, if you're on third down, you missed two people. You know you got you extra time. People. You know you're going to get another chance at the field goal. Why don't? Why not fake it? Maybe, maybe you end up dotting somebody up for a touchdown. Uh, it's actually, a, like you said, a really smart move. And th that's a scenario. That, that's not the first time Skims put himself no. in that situation. He really is like Belichick, where he thinks of these situations that you don't really expect to see in game, but when the situation finally does come up, he's well prepared for it. And that's one of a lot of John Madden football games, just being ready for that situational Madden football. Week one, up in Minnesota versus Kiv, he did the same thing. Hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button on that fake. So that's the other side of the coin. It's all well and good when it works. And that haunted him for weeks. I, he would get random texts from Skimbo late in the, I can't believe I hit the wrong button, G. Skip. It's a long season. It's okay. That's right. No, no, you don't understand, G. I, that's on you, dog. I didn't hit that button. I win. <laughs> He's obsessive. They open the season against each other. I'm talking about Skimbo and Kiv. They'll close the season against each other. But this is a treat right here. Goes and Skimbo, second and eight. Redskins club champion and this club is championship this belt is winner. Goes. Going up against the only two-time belt winner in Patriots, defending club champion Anybody Mike Skimbo. It was cool seeing these guys when we were down in Minnesota a while back because you saw all these different Madden fans and players, you know, stopping Skimbo, stopping Ghost after he won the belt, wanted to take pictures. Hey, the Redskins, you know, their champion got a belt. You know what I'm saying? At, at, the, at the club championship, so. Ooh, what a squad! Oh my goodness, that would have been disgusting. Oh my gosh! Almost, got lucky. almost had it. Skim knows he almost got nasty. Look at this ickiness. So, like I, so I'm saying Skimbo's won it. two belts. Goes is like one, one, and a third. Yeah, that, that the, the original <laughs> belt that he won at the Redskins Club Championship is not. Good. It was swaggy though. It was, a nice it was on it was swag. A nice touch by the Redskins. Sure. I don't think they were supposed to give away a belt, though. The belts are reserved for the big, <laughs> the real big events. I think they snuck that one in. There's no way you're taking that Redskins belt away from Goes. He's a huge Skins fan. Yeah, and you got to like the Redskins. They showed a lot of support for Goes during that club championship. They were tweeting at him. They had their own live event at, the, you know, at their stadium. Let's go. Kudos. You know, the season moves so fast, but kudos to all those that had live events on the NFL teams. We went. Can't do it without them. It, 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 I think the club championship was a great example of how big competitive Madden and the MCS is, is becoming. The first year, last year when we did the club championship, there was only eight NFL teams involved. And fast forward to this year, you got all 32 of those teams involved. Last year, it was in a studio in Burbank, California. This year, it was in an arena <laughs> at the ESPN Wild World of Sports. Exactly. And you, you got to think the future's only got bigger and brighter things. The NFL and EA behind this. Big fourth and 18, and Grant picks up the first down. What a throw by Ghost. And Ghost just gives Skimbo a look like, yeah, I just dotted you on fourth down. That's a big play right there. That corner strike deep in route. There's Jakeem Grant. Come on, fight. And Skim had a chance to really put Ghost away, and Ghost just not having it. That's frustrating if you Skim. Open, missed the read, another open read missed. Let's get a game update. Well guys, Joel is doing everything he can to get himself back into this game. Throws the touchdown pass here on fourth down. Down 28-14, but. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Especially score touchdowns. Young Kiv, 35-14. What are you guys, choreographing things over there? You guys, it's a lot of free time. A lot of free time over there. I'm not mad at it. No, it sounded good. Rico on point. Third and five at the 25. 
little over two minutes to go in the quarter. Goes on a drive here. Chewing up a lot of clock, though. Mariota to the corner, Jackson! I pointed that. Just overthrew him. No, I didn't. There's no way. Ashley. You're getting lucky, Skimbo. You high pointed I that. I got the shirt on. You lying to me. You high pointed that. I swear to God, I didn't. You high pointed it. No, I didn't. If they give us a Don't replay. Don't you dare blame me. Don't you dare blame me. We can see it right here. You high pointed it. Bullet pass. Yeah, you did. Mm. I don't think he high pointed it. It usually says it. But you know, you and I talked I am, about as goes lines up for a field goal here. It's a 42 yarder. That's why you like going with, uh, you know, a, a Chad Johnson or Randy Moss, someone that's got a bit more wingspan no, to sure. maybe haul in some passes like that. For sure. When you got those bigger body receivers, they have a better I'm chance of getting through those overthrow passes. They, like you house. said, got that longer wingspan where they Jerry can get Rice the hand is catching on the that ball. ball. Jerry Rice will maybe animate for that ball. Moss, if you have Moss, Moss right for there sure. and you aggressive catch it, you, you press the Y instead of that possession catch, he'll get there. He's jumping up and Scummy! You Skim going back, Scumbo! Imagine if Skim took back the scum. I think you just said scumbo. I'm not sure. We'll have to, we'll That's have a to, good nickname for him. We'll have to re-look at the tape. But what do you mean by when things are scummy and mad? Well, it can mean a, a variety of different things. You know, the definition of scum usually when someone's just being a dirtbag. But sometimes you want to be a dirtbag. Like, sometimes you got to admire scum. Like, put it this way. When, when the Eagles hit the Patriots in the Super Bowl with that trick play, to me, that's scum. That's a scummy play that you, you're not ready for. It's out of the ordinary. So it's the scum tactic that you're trying to catch someone off guard with. But you know what? It's in the rules. It's allowed. And that type of thing's admirable when you're competing. I think when you're competing, as long as it's within the rules, a lot of times you do got to go scum. So when Skimbo ran the fake field goal in third and six, scummy? Scummy. Yeah. Right. And, and you, you got to know the context and what we're using. And sometimes you, you really can be scum, or sometimes it, it's a scum tactic that you, you, you like to appreciate. But if you see scummy bears, that's definitely bad. Like if you're in a convenience store and it says scummy bears, yeah, no, I would probably, probably want to avoid those. Yeah, yeah, that's no not good. Bears. Hey, you eat too many gummy bears, man. It's it's not good for anybody. Don't Second ever get and seven. Sugar free one. No, sugar free. Do that. Sugar free. I wouldn't risk that on my my worst enemy. You want to see something funny? Go look at some of the reviews for sugar free no, no, gummy no, bears. No, 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 no. No, no, uh, no. Don't complain. Don't third complain. and seven. That wouldn't even uh, happen. You'll waste about three hours on Amazon, but you'll laugh as hard as you've ever laughed in your life. Third but, and seven to go here from the 46. But to your point, scum could be a number of different things. Sure. Scott. It could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. Looking deep. On third and seven, and somehow oh, catches it. So lucky. And I think so Skimbo's lucky. leaving. No, he's getting the crowd involved. We don't have a studio audience. Oh my God! Camera guys aren't going in on it. They're not cheering. I think I saw the camera guy, guy ready to clap. Don't start with me. <laughs> he was failing it. This is not okay. I should be winning by like and, and here's the thing: Skim did get a little lucky there. You, you don't never want to just aggressive catch on somebody. You want to catch the ball in space. But if you're ghost, you got to give yourself the best chance to break that play up. And I didn't see him click on and hold that SWAT button, which would have given him the best chance to break up that pass. We talk about that Tyree kill. You know, he's got a high catch in traffic. So one on one, you know, it might be a 50-50 ball for someone like that in the right position. Especially when you're letting the AI make the plays for you if you're ghost. You need to click on and do that and make a play as a user there. So at the end of the third, Skimbo. 17 to 10 over goes. And we're not showing you the 38 to 14 game between young Kiv and Joel, just in case you have young people in your house. You know, we don't want to show that that type of beatdown between Kiv and Joel. Start of the fourth quarter, five minutes left in this one. And it's been a good one. We're in the Elite Conference. 
It's a cross-divisional game, but both these guys, one and two. Skibos is having a good time. Really is. I think, I think Goes is enjoying it as well. Look at that play art by Goes. Saw the defensive side. They, they switched to the offensive play art, though, but Goes in a really awkward defense. No safety help. He's got all his players in hook zones and underneath zones. And there's the delay. And Charles bulldogged down to the nine. That was close to a DDT. Where the DDT? A little wrestle, a little cactus Bam. jack, and not Jake the Snake. <laughs> Third and six at the nine. Chad Johnson solo to the left. Carson Wentz, they pick up the blitz. Scrambling, looking, throwing. Can't hang on. Mel Renfro. You gotta be careful there. We stopped his run. The reception off that tip, that would have been huge. Nice. Gonna kick the three here, RG. Make it a 10-point game. We assume he's going to kick it, and he will. The lead's now 10, 4.29 to go. Plenty of time left in this game, though. Goes with a high-powered offense, three timeouts. It's going to be a big drive for him. If I had to pick two of the top two players in the Ultimate League for one-play touchdowns, it would be Goes and Young Kim. Those are two guys that can go up top. Good selection, though. I'm not mad at that at all. So ball to 25 after the touchback. Still has three timeouts, but he's down two possession. Play action. Good pocket. Throws it to Hill. Hill makes almost Kraus miss. They'll give him four on the spin. The way it goes, That's a the block set up to pick up those blitzes. Just very advanced. Strong pocket presence right there. Sometimes it's hard to notice those subtle things that these players do, Scott. Look at Ghost, just keeping his quarterback That's back there. It doesn't matter. Use a large skim. That is Mar. He's so Flowers. Mark. My first Team of the move. week. And Ghost, he, Ghost is just a little too friendly in this game. He's going back and forth with Skim, having a good time, but. Before you know it, skims up two possessions on you with the ball. Looking to send you to one and three. Ghost better be careful. And yeah, this loss will, if it holds up, that'll send Ghost to the basement. And I'm not talking of his division. I'm talking of the league. Jeez. One and three. The look you gave me when you said that. <laughs> You okay over there? Yeah. Well, this is the guy that won the club championship, RG. <laughs> Look at me. And he's about to be down, he's down there with my old toys and a broken bicycle. Christmas trees down there. The ornaments. Yeah. It's scary down there. No carpet. <laughs> Out of control. Water heater, the furnace is making all kind of noise. You don't want to be down there. Third and 21. Oh, the ball's out. Ball, ball. Scooped up. He wants out no. of the basement. Could not get the There's animation he needed, but he does have the ball. You couldn't get that. You couldn't that would have been a score. He had a caravan. Goes trying to get back to ground level here, Scott. We had a Nerf hoop down in the basement. Sometimes the, the ball would bounce away. My brother would turn off the lights and run upstairs. Six years old in the dark basement. You have flashbacks right now? I almost busted my head open on the ping pong. There's a ping pong table down there. You don't want to be in the basement. Hey, if the basement got a ping pong table, it's got to be a nice basement. Final between Kiv and Joel CP, 38 to 14. It's going to be interesting to see how Joel CP can react to some tough losses. He's a young Madden player in his rookie season. He's already met a lot of expectations, but now you find yourself down in the dumps. See how he responds. It's going off. Yeah, Joel CP, he's down in the basement. Air mattress. 
two time. It does a little touch. The two time. Two time. Don't win it. Like Picks him off twice as well. Boy, Paul Krause has been a staple in Madden Ultimate Team for almost the entire year. And when we talk about good stick work, clicking on, making the play yourself, cutting underneath the route, that was a great example of that for Michael Skimbo on that interception. I just need to protect this ball. And this is where Skim has always struggled the most. He, his offense is not built for these situations where he just needs to kill the clock and keep it moving because he's so pass heavy. You got to use the flats, those short intermediate routes, keep that clock on the move. And to be fair, he does a good job of that when he's in this situation. He'll pass the ball and unorthodoxly kill the clock. And I definitely wouldn't call it one of the strong suits of his game. Remember Jamal Charles, though, when he came into the league? Good Jamal. All over the place. He's, he's lost a step through injuries. I, was, I had him sitting on my bench in fantasy this year. Just waiting for him to start doing work. Nostalgia. A little nostalgic pick. I've been there. Didn't happen. I think I've drafted C.J. Spiller for the last five seasons. I drafted Spiller one year. <laughs> Wasn't a good look. Second and ten. Two timeouts each. I just got to go on the record of our, our own admin, Justin Chow, is the worst fantasy co-commissioner in the business. <laughs> if he ever tries to split a team with you, Scott, you turn around and run. <laughs> Best admin we got, but when it comes to fantasy, avoid it. That'll move it out to the 33. Third and two. One timeout left for Goes. 149. Needs a stop here. This is pretty much it. Oh, Skim fighting. I think he got it. Going to depend on the spot. It's fourth and inches. Mm. They gave you a win. This is interesting. Yeah, you want me to go for this or no? You want me to go? You He's asking him. You want me to go? I'll go for it. He goes to telling him punted. He's got, got plenty of time. He's telling time out. Out. I mean, this is the only you time want, you got a bunch of time. If you tell me to go for it, I'll go for but, it. You don't want me to go for it? He's telling you to punch, Skim. Are you bluffing? The what? ghost call his bluff. I'm going for it. Ah, he Here's called it. the bluff. If you get an onside kick, maybe <laughs> you Skim go. was trying to swag. You want me to go? No, one dang well. He's going for it the whole time. That was fun. Fourth and inches. I mean, it might be an inch. I'm surprised he's not in goal line here. Try to get a sneak. Still has two timeouts. Goes in the air. Wentz. Downfield, and he can't hang on. And Goes will have the football with 138 to go. No timeouts. If you Goes, you can go scum here. Just kick that field goal quickly and just get the onside kick popping. And if you recover that onside kick, this pass with a minute 30 something left on the clock, Skim will be feeling the pressure. Still needs a couple yards though, getting field goal range, and that's not going to help. That's a sack, a loss of 12. Jake Brown. Brown's played big. Jayon Brown. 77 overall. That, that's a player you see on a lot of lineups. He's on a lot of rosters. I think because he's it's only 20 cap, but he's got a lot of speed at that line, linebacker position. If you're talking about some of the most popular budget players. That Jay on Brown at linebacker is it. Usually if you don't see somebody using Bar, they're using Brown. And they're both 55, so that makes it confusing sometimes. Except Bar's massive. Throws it to the corner. Hill, yeah. Got it. Inbounds at the 12. If he can score this touchdown and then get the onside kick, he's more than, Ghost is more than capable of getting himself in field goal range. He's making this interesting. Bunch to the left. Sean Jackson is solo to the right. Mariota. Just throw it away. 51 ticks left in this game. Second and 10 from the 12th. 
getting the touchdown here is big, Scott, because it's so much more manageable to get the field goal if you get the onside. And it's picked oh, off. That's not happening, though. Mike Skim. This is Larry so Wilson. This is next level. Look at the look on Larry Skim's Wilson. face. Things have not gone Goes way. So and Skimbo's had a lot of bounces. Look at that. This is a huge game. It's the difference between being 2-2, two and two, getting to 500, or going 1-3. and three. He'll bend the knee. And Skimbo really was in control for a majority of this game. Goes trying to make it interesting late. But three picks. Hard to overcome that if your goes. You got Skimbo now on two-game win streak in this regular season, starting to pick up his momentum. And goes, like you said, he's down in the basement. Your old but Joel CP, they're down there. They found an old Coleman sleeping bag. Just hanging out. Still a long way to go in the season, though. Absolutely. Far from We're over. not even halfway. Far from over. But as this playoff picture is going to start to take shape, these games are going to get a lot more interesting here in the Ultimate League, Scott. So the final, Skimbo gets his second straight victory. 20 to 10 over goes. And Young Kiv, 38 to 14. Let's go to Adrian Lawrence, who's standing by with both Goes and Skimbo. Nice matchup, gentlemen. And congratulations, Skimbo. You had, what, three picks in the fourth? Oh Bro, how did it go? Yeah, you know, he was bagged the whole game. You know, I – no, I'm just joking. I caught some good breaks, you know, but that's just how it goes. I can't think about it. I got to play my game. If I, if I feel bad about it, then I, that brings my game down. So, at the end of the day, you got to take what you get. And I haven't had a game like that, honestly, all year where I could say – things went my way. I can literally say this is the first time all year things went my way. And, you know, my boy Dubby, it's because I ain't wearing the need it no more. I wore that out. I'm in Nike. All right. Nike, you hear that. Now, Ghost, this question comes directly from Rico. Uh, it seems Skimbo has put you in a box, and he wants to know if you still think your bunch formation is the best. Uh, I want to ask him what game was he watching. I just got unlucky every single play of the game. Ghost, look, Ghost has the best bunch in the nation. I got really lucky and at the end. Yeah, I got some picks, but he's got the best offense in the nation. So, no, he, he really wasn't boxed, you know. He's, the, he's got the best offense in the nation. All right. All right, there it is. There it is. There it is indeed. Congrats to you both. To you, Dave and Rico.